Yardman Steve live and direct in Smoky Mountain, North Carolina, the most visited park in America. I see these guys have like tags. Right. What's the reason for that? So they can track where they go. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. So I'm, I'm like a tourist, right? right? Is there like any hunting allowed in this park? Hunting yeah, you these want guys? To shoot one? No, no. <laughs> I don't want to shoot. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. No. no hunting. No hunting. Okay. Just fishing. Just fishing. Okay, all right. Thank you. So you can't shoot them. You can't shoot them. That was good. Yeah, you can't. You can't shoot them. Oh, God. Entering the Great Smoky Mountain National Park in North Carolina. Let's see what's back here. So this mountain goes like all the way up? Yeah, towards Tennessee. Uh, towards Tennessee? Yeah. Whoa. It takes a while because there's a lot of cars and traffic. Oh, so you can go over? Yeah. Wow. Lindbergh. Oh, cool. All right, thank you, man. Okay. Yeah, towards Tennessee. Wow. That is, that is a, a, a trek towards Tennessee. So we have uh, a river down here. Let's see what this is. So this is like their native language. Peaceful river down here. So we have folks actually on the tubes. Do you get the tubes up there? Can you get the tubes up here? I guess you can't hear what I'm saying. <laughs> yep, yeah. Isn't that peaceful? In nature. So I had to like put some um, insect repellent on my arms, you know, because if you don't, they'll bite you up. They'll eat you alive. It's out in nature. So we're exploring the Great Smoky Mountain. So this here area here, it is the most visited park in the United States. So more travelers actually visit this park on a yearly basis more than any other parks so we're going to continue to go up yeah so they're saying that um, the great smoky mountain is the most visited visited national park in the united states and the park was chartered by the united states congress in 1934 and officially dedicated by President Franklin D. Roosevelt in 1940. So as we go along, we're going to explore and talk about a little bit more of the history of the Smoky Mountain National Park here in North Carolina. So this is actually I'm in uh, the Cherokee um, region in North Carolina and this thing goes all the way up to Tennessee wow going through the mountains in the Tennessee but <laughs> I'm not gonna drive all the way to Tennessee today right yeah so yeah there's like a lot of visitors here just uh, stopping by taking pictures at the, um, at the entrance yeah so that's the entrance to the Smoky Mountains so we're gonna roll on yeah, this is the scene. Scenic road going all the way up into the mountains. Beautiful stuff. Wonderful stuff in nature. So this is the Blue Ridge Parkway. of 
put on my seat belt because we have the ranges up here too. Seat belt and um, pay attention to the speed limit. Welcome to the Great Smoky Mountain. This is a park tags required. I, I'm a tourist, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm like I'm like clueless. I was told that the park was actually free. You know, so I'm not sure if I need um, a tag. Oh, look at this thing trying to run across the street. See the mountains to my right over here? Look at that beautiful view. All right, let's go into the visitor center and see if we can um, find out a little bit more because we want to abide, I want to abide by the rules. You know, I don't want to get a ticket. A ticket can be way more expensive. You know, just simple a pull in stop. Follow the rules of engagement wherever you go. All right, so we're gonna head on into the, and I'm sure I'll be able to, I'm sure I'll be able to get like a map, you know of like spots that I can I can stop at I really don't like heights too much you know but so far like I'm way up in the mountains and the drive coming up wasn't too bad drive coming up was not too bad so that's that's good like going into certain parts of Virginia it's kind of crazy you know Look at this. I don't think I will be able to drive all the way up here. That's like really, really high. You know, oh, so we have like parking tags right here. Okay, let's go inside and uh, see what I need before I purchase anything. Today is Sunday. I'm not sure if I need, uh, probably need a parking tag every single day. Well, let's go in and uh, see what I need to get. The Great Smoky Mountain. Hello. How you doing? Hello. Good, good. So I'm like a tourist to your area, right? Um, is there like, oh, you guys have a map? Yeah, we got a map right here Okay. For you. And do I need a tag, like if I pull over and park anywhere? If you're going to be more than 15 minutes at any stop in the park, mm -hmm. then you have to display the pass. But if you're just driving through, yeah. you're going to just pull over, take some pictures and leave. You do not need the pass. Okay, okay. Cool, it's cool. only if you're going to stop and recreate and get out. No, no, no. I won't do that. Nope. So I'm if just you're just driving and picture taking and things like that, mm -hmm. you don't need the pass. Okay. And is the maps free or? Yes, this is free for you. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, all right. Take care. All right. Go ahead. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean... We have a map, a uh, booklet, like a, a Smokey's Guide. All right, so we have the Okanaluti River Trail. <laughs> Please forgive me if I'm butchering these names, okay? And we have the Mountain Farm Museum. So we're going to walk along this trail here, and we're going to see if the museum is actually open. Right up here in Smoky Mountain, North Carolina. Like we have a nice little garden going on over here. Not sure what that is. Yeah, so we have some folks, some visitors. Yeah, the 
trail. Beautiful day. Um, it rained a little bit, a little earlier today. Um, rained for maybe like two hours or so. But now it's uh, pretty, pretty settled, you know. Let's step over here. No pets. Another thing that you have to be careful, I have to be careful about is bears, wild animals, you know, animals that attack. Because, I mean, this is like the wild, wild west for animals, right? <laughs> Yeah, so uh, got to be careful. It's all fun and games until the animals get a hold of you, you know. That's not a fun sight. That won't be fun. And if you jump in the river, the bears can actually go in the river with you. They can swim better than I can. I mean, this river looks pretty shallow, so... At least I'll be able to run. <laughs> yeah, so this is a mountain farm museum. So no pets permitted on this farm. So here we have a little house here. Let's see if we can get inside. Let's see if it's if it's open. Nope, it's it's Shut. It is shut, shut, shut. Let's go in the front. I guess that's the back door. Probably all these, uh, yeah, look like they're all closed. So this is actually, they said this is the meat house. Yeah, but all these guys right here. I mean, these are not American Indians. These are white folks right here. Yeah, so the, the Indian reservation is just about, I would say, two miles to the south. And in this direction, we have um, the Smoky Mountains. So this is the natural, National Park, all right? So correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think... If there are any Indian reservations here, I, I'm not sure. I'm just a simple YouTuber traveling. So I'm not quite sure. And as you, it's like earlier when I was at the, the Cherokee Museum, they had Cherokee Indians who actually fought, who were actually members of the United States military, you know, and they, some gave their lives in uh, uh, the fight against terrorism, some gave their life in uh, World War II, you know, so yeah, they're integrated into the American uh, society. They have the same freedoms as Americans, I believe, and but I believe they're a sovereign nation within the United States. Look how peaceful this is in nature. Yardman Steve in nature. Look at this. Listen to the river. Listen to that. Just beautiful, just beautiful. If only you can just leave your city and just explore this beautiful nation, you know? All the killings, stabbings, shootings in these major cities and look at the peace and serenity right out here in America, you know? Let freedom reign, let freedom reign.
peace in these streets. Come on, guys, peace in these streets. You know, there is no need to be killing each other, you know, over nonsense. So this is a blacksmith shop right here. Yeah, so we have, this is like a, like a horseshoe type deal. Yeah, this is like the old, old way of doing things. And listen, man, those guys back in those days, those guys were true generals, you know. Imagine what they had to put up with in those days. No moder modern technology, just the will, you know, the willpower to do something, you know. And look at this, look at this beautiful creation. Wonderful creation. You know, this is just amazing. Out in nature. What is this? I can smell like a pig, pig farm right here. Yep, that's what it is. It's a pig farm. Uh. <laughs> is he sleeping? He's, he's, right, he's right over there. There's a pig. Pig right up there. It's not sleeping. His way is there. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's wagging his tail. So he is. Uh, he's not sleeping. He's wide awake. But it definitely smells like a pig farm. <laughs> it definitely smells like pigs. What's going on up in here? Let's take a look at what's going on up in this side right here. What is this? Bob was here. Bob visited the Great Smoky Mountain National Park and especially enjoyed these historic buildings. Oh, let's see right here. By writing his name, Bob committed a crime. A visitor reported his vandalism to the park ranger who gave Bob a ticket. He paid a $100 fine. If his case had gone to the court, he would have been fined up to $5,000 and six months in jail. Isn't that crazy? I am not riding on anything. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not ready. So what is saying here? If you wish to leave your mark on this plank, please do it in a positive way by helping to protect and preserve the park's natural and historic resources. Okay. I think I'm going to pass on that one. Mm. What is this right here? They said it's a farm. I guess it's a stable for. I don't know. What would you keep up in here? Horse? Kind of low for horses, right? Yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool historical stuff. And this looks like it's been here for ages. Yeah, this looks like more than 50 years old could be 1900s early 1900s yeah, these these little structures here I mean it seems to be well organized you know so Probably using like old wood dating back to that um, time frame. So we have corn grips. All right. Look at this right here. In nature. What are those called? What are those called? Elk? Okay.
Elks over here. Beautiful, beautiful nature. That one has a tag, so for tracking purposes. <laughs> wow, we're deep in nature, deep in nature, Smoky Mountain. So this right here is the Smoke Mount Stable Trail. So it's like horseback, horseback riding, horseback riding on this trail right here. And uh, let's go up up in here. Oh, there's a church up here. Not sure if this is, yeah. There's a church up here. You can see that church up there. So in the Smoky Mountains here, we have the Native American has been have been hunting in the Smoky Mountains for over 14,000 years. Native Americans have been hunting on this land right here that I'm standing on for over 14,000 years. The Great Smoky the Great Smoky Mountain has check check check. The Great Smoky Mountain is home to a large diversity of plants and animals. There are more than 4,000 plants, 140 species of trees, about uh, 65 uh, species of mammals, and uh, so we have also 200 varieties of bird, 67 native species of fish, and uh, more than 80 types of reptiles and amphibians. And listen to this one about 1500 beers. 1500 beers in the Smoky Mountains. Let's go up on the top up here and see what's up here. 1500 beers. Gotta be careful out here. Got to be careful. Let's see right here. So they say no dogs, no bicycles. Yeah, so I guess they don't want the bears to eat the dogs. <laughs> right? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah, Yardman Steve, nature. Live in nature, in the Smoky Mountains. I'm telling you, man, this thing, it feels so peaceful and serene. That's the church up here. That's the church up here. So I guess this goes for quite a bit up here. It's raining now, but I'm not really like getting wet that much because we have like all the trees covering, you know? So that's the beauty. And the river, you can hear the river down there like just gushing, gushing, gushing. All right, let's see right here. So we're saying, they're saying that the Smoky Mountains, right? There are more than 800 miles of hiking trails. 800 miles of hiking trails. So if you come to the Smoky Mountain, and you're a hiker and you love to hike, you have 800 miles <laughs> that you can hike, which is awesome. The Smoky Mountains, of course, is rich in history, right? In fact, there are more than 90 historical um, structures. So there's more than 90 historical structures in the Smoky Mountains. All right, I'm gonna move my car. I see the cop down here. Cop down here, patrolling. Patrol, patrolling. I guess he's, he's turning here. 
Heading back, heading back to the car, heading back to the car. Yep. So the Park Ranger Patrol, Park Ranger Patrol. I'm allowed to leave the car for 15 minutes, so I parked what, like less than five minutes ago? So heading back into the car. Heading back down to Cherokee. So that goes like Gatlinburg is Gatlinburg, I believe Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Uh, not going to Tennessee today. So that was the excursion uh, in the Smoky Mountain. You know, it's uh, look at the smoke up here. If you could see, let me turn on. You see up and up in the mountains up there. You can see the smoke, the Smoky Mountain. What are your thoughts? Have you ever been to the Smoky Mountain before? Have you ever left your hood? <laughs> like, get out of your hood, man. Get out of your hood and travel. Travel the United States. You know, you don't have to necessarily leave America. But look at this. You know, peace just in your backyard. You know, instead of killing each other in the Bronx, killing each other in Brooklyn, you can actually leave your hood, venture out of your hood. You know, look at all this peace, nature. Nature at its best. You know, be spontaneous, travel, live life. Because really and truly, we only have one life to live. Right, so why don't you just explore? I mean, this is a part of the journey in life, right? Yeah, look at this, look at, look at this, Smoky Mountain. Wow. Look at that beauty. The smoke. The smoke, smoke, smoke. Coming up and the cups, the cups, the cups, the cups. I'm not even sure what the speed limit is, uh, 45. Speed limit is 45. I mean, it's raining, I don't want to drive too fast, you know. Plus, you can see some nice, um, Surprises as you travel along this road right here. So I don't want to go too fast, you know, and then I miss the opportunity to capture some cool stuff along the path. You know, so yeah, we're heading down back to Cherokee. So this is like the main drag right here. If you stay on this main drag, it will take you all the way up to Tennessee or all the way to Tennessee yeah, yeah. let's see here I think the elk, elks are still up here so you see the traffic they stop and you're looking at the elks elks are Breezing up here. Let me stop and ask these guys a question here to see if we are allowed to actually hunt hunt the elks. All right, let me get out the car here. Looks a couple of questions. So question for you. Oh, yeah. Don't want to get too close. Question for you, right? I see these guys have like tags. Right. What's the reason for That's the tags? That's so they can track where they go. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. So 
I'm, I'm like a tourist, right? right? Is there like any hunting allowed in this park? Hunting these guys? No, no. I don't want to shoot. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. No. no hunting. No hunting. No hunting. Uh, just fishing. Just fishing. Okay, all right. Thank you. So you can't shoot them. You can't shoot them. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, you can't. You can't shoot them. <laughs> okay. Well.